Welcome to Electron Line. Our next circuit is a little bit more complicated than the previous one, but if we use the same standard approach, it should not be a problem. So again, we're trying to find the equivalent capacitance. C equivalent is equal to question mark. So what we want to do is we probably want to redraw the circuit to some extent. And also, right away, we can see that these two right here are in parallel. We can probably combine those, and we can take these three and draw those a little bit different, and the circuit will look as follows. Starting out, we still have our 12 microfarad capacitor, assuming that these are all in microfarads. Now, let's see here. Hmm. We're going to leave this one alone. We're going to leave this one alone for now. And these two combined, since they're in parallel, we simply have to add them. So I'll go ahead and draw a little circle around these. We're going to combine those two together. That becomes a single 120 microfarad capacitor. This is still 12. This is still 12. This is still 50. And we still have a 60 microfarad capacitor here. But now I'm going to draw these three in a way where it looks like they're all in parallel to one another. So we have our first one, which is a 30 microfarad capacitor. The second one can be drawn like this. And the third one can be drawn like this. So this one is 30, 20, and 10. Now you can see that those last three capacitors are all in parallel to one another, which means we can simply add them together. We can combine those three. And it will simply become a single 60 micro, uh, 60 micro coulomb capacitor or microfarad capacitor, not coulomb. We're not talking about the charge. We're talking about the capacitance. So this circuit can now be redrawn as follows. We have 12 microfarad capacitor, another 12 this way. So these are both 12 microfarads. We still have our 120 microfarad capacitor here. This one is still present. This one is 50. Then we have this one here, which is a 60 microfarad capacitor. And now when we combine those three together, we now have a single 60 microfarad capacitor. All right, so now things look a little bit better. The next step would be to take the two at the end, these two right here, they belong to the same branch, which means we can simply combine those. Those are in series, and we can turn those into a single capacitor. Single capacitor, when we have two that are 60 microfarads, remember that C total is equal to the product over the sum. And since they're equal in magnitude, this is equal to C squared over 2C, which is equal to C divided by 2. In other words, when you have two capacitors in series and they have the same value, the equivalent capacitance is half what they are. So we're going to redraw the circuit as follows. We have the 12 microfarad capacitor. We still have a 12 one there, so these are still there. They're both 12. We still have our 120 microfarad capacitor. And we still have this one right here, so we're not going to change that. So this is 12, 12, 120. This one is 50. And these two combined can now turn into a single capacitor that's 30 microcoulombs. Well, I keep saying coulombs, I should say microfarad. Next, we can look at these two right here and notice that these are on two separate branches going from this point to this point. They are in parallel, which means we can combine those. Of course, when capacitors are in parallel, we simply have to add them together. That means C total in this case is simply 50 plus 30, which is 80, which means we can redraw our circuit like this. We now have, still have the 12 and the 12 microfarad capacitors. 12 and 12. We still have the 120 microfarad capacitor, and now the 50 plus 30 together form an 80 microfarad capacitor. All right, we're almost there. Next, we need to look at the two at the end right here. Now, those two are in series, which means we have to use the product over the sum rule. If we combine those two, we can say that C total is equal to the product 120 times 80 divided by the sum 120 plus 80. Okay, what 
using a calculator, we go 120 times 80 divided by 200, and that gives us 48 microfarad for the equivalent capacitance of those two, which means we can now redraw our circuit as follows. We still have the 12 microfarad capacitor. Those two combined now, well, let's draw the 12 microfarad capacitor first like this. So we still have the 12 and the 12, but the 120 and the 80 combined now form a single 48 microfarad capacitor. Now we can look at these two. Notice that these two are in parallel, which means we can simply add the two together. 12 plus 48 equals 60, which means that this circuit now becomes the following. We still have the 12 microfarad capacitor, and the 12 plus the 48 combined give us a 60 microfarad capacitor. And finally, we need to combine the last two. They are in series, which means we have to use the product over the sum method. C total equals 12 times 60 divided by 12 plus 60, which is 720 divided by 72, which is equal to 10. That means we can finally say we have one equivalent capacitor, which is equal to 10 microfarads. So we say C equivalent equal 10 microfarads, assuming that all capacitors are in microfarads. And you can then say that the single capacitor is equal to this entire circuit right here. It has the exact same electrical properties. Again, the methodology is you start from the back of the circuit, from the top of the circuit, from the outlying regions. These were in parallel, you can combine them. Then these three in parallel, you can combine those. Those two are in series, combine those. These two are in parallel, combine those. These two are in series, combine those. These two are in parallel, combine those. Those two are in series, combine those. And that's how you finally get to the final equivalent capacitance. That's how it's done.